Hey everyone, I am here at the airport chapel in Charlotte getting ready to board a connecting flight home from General Council. It's been a bit of a crazy time, had some canceled flights, my luggage was lost, and maybe you can tell I didn't uh, get to change my clothes today. But um, I'm excited to get home because it was a wonderful time representing you as your superintendent. If you've never been before, you need to plan ahead to be there next time in the summer of 23 in Columbus, Ohio. Now, one of our speakers at the event was Aaron Burke, church planner from Florida and a scheduled speaker at our Multiply Council last April that we canceled due to COVID. He was talking about his first church planning experience in a building that was infested by rodents. And while he was explaining his disgust for the animal, suddenly a huge fly landed on his cheek and began to crawl around for a few seconds. We could all see it on the big screens. Suddenly he swatted it away and at first, we kind of thought maybe he planned it, but then we all erupted in laughter realizing it happened by chance and just enjoyed the irony of the situation in the middle of his message. I'm sure we've all been in moments like that before. As ministers, we all want to be great preachers. Um, it's the defining craft of our trade, and it's a form of communication that we really need to seek to become experts in, uh, in our field. Um, it also is a point of connection. The better messages that we give, the better connected our followers are going to be with us and with the scriptures. And they're also a result of connecting with our peers so that we can seek to improve and become better. Some of the best speakers across our network have a team of people that are helping evaluate them and critique them so they can always improve the next time. That's one of the benefits of being in such a connected network and even in PAC relationships. Campus pastors share sermons, outlines, ideas, preparations evaluations, you name it. So why not talk to one of your neighboring ministers down the road and ask them if they would commit to join you in a commitment to improve each other's communication skills. Who knows where a uh, situation like that could evolve to down the road. Now, a communication is also such a hot topic in society. One idea is that you could enroll in a communication class at your local community college, or even host a communication workshop at your church for your community, for city leaders. And this way your search to improve in communication will also be a form of outreach. Now, one word of caution, I have seen our focus on messages sometimes divide us because we judge others harshly or maybe don't wanna befriend somebody that we think is not on the same level speaking as we are. And that's not what we're trying to do here at all. This is not a competition. So let me be your guide. Watch these videos, uh, interact with me on the Zoom calls and conference sessions. Listen to my messages. And when you see something you notice that I could improve, first ask yourself, God, why are you revealing this to me? Chances are it's not to correct me or to change the status of our relationship, but because God is trying to improve you from my example. And that's my prayer, God. Use me in every way to be a great superintendent in this network. So let's work together to be great communicators moving forward. Hey, I can't wait to get home and see everybody at our retreat later this month. But until then, Walk holy, work hard, and worship Him. I'll see you next time.